Hi everybody, today's guest is Marina Kay from France with Heaven Bound. Marina Kay is one of those sensational singers we need to know and listen to more of and just enjoy. We do, and that's why she's on my channel. Marina Kay was born Marina Maria Madeleine Dal Dalmas, is a French singer, songwriter and composer, most famous for a hit, Homeless, and I remember that all those years ago. She released her EP Homeless in 2014 and the album Fearless in 2015. More recently, she released her second album, Explicit, which was certified gold. She keeps rising in the status within the music industry. And it's funny if I mention her to most people on just across the water, as they would say here in Ireland, a lot of people still don't know of her. She's got extremely youthful looks. She's got this real, really chilled baby face. But beneath it all, as you're going to find out, she's got this song now that's representing a new turn in her music career. It's called Heaven Bound. And this Ajay could summarize Marina Kay's young life. Following a complicated childhood, her incredible talents blows up in the face of the French audience who immediately make her a star. She's only 13 years old. In this bed where I rest, I'm homeless. Marina grows up in the spotlight. She lines up success, concerts, albums, Fearless in 2015, Explicit in 2017, and then Twisted, that was her released in the midst of the COVID lockdowns. More she's in the spotlights further, Marina sinks. Her songs translate her despair. Yet despite being successful with her audience, it doesn't fulfill Marina. She says, being constantly judged when I was only a teenager was painful. I learned from it a lot, from that suffering and now come out stronger than ever. No, you don't come out of such overexposure un unscathed. Today, Marina is already 25 years of age. Wow, time has flown. She spent over half her lifetime in the spotlights. The teenager has become a young woman. The chrysalis has now emerged as a butterfly. Time to take off again. Because with this song, you, you will see her covered in butterflies. And it reminds me of Aurora. And Aurora had moths, I think. Um, but similar images. It was like, wow. And I totally had the wrong vision of what love was, she said. I considered something toxic to be sort of the norm. It's only whilst I was writing Heaven Bound that I came out of this denial. This track marks my awakening. So that's what this song, in Marina's own words, is about. She continues, it was winter in her life. She's now in a spring mood. Colours are brighter, the air is lighter, more breathable. To illustrate this met metamorphosis, the track that marks her comeback, heaven bound. Laughing, she says, with this track, I hope people will remember all the reasons for which they loved me, just better. It's not a question of erasing the past, on the contrary. On Heaven Bound, Marina worked with the team she wrote with on her debut album way back in, in 2013. Nina Woodford and Matthias Wallow with the former half a day chatting about the love it's, it, and to give birth to the lyrics to Heaven Bound. Matthias followed the movement and added the music to the words. Along came her long term, her long time friends, Yakov and Mir Sala, Mir Music, who took care of producing the track, all tailor made for Marina. She finishes, love was the trigger, I feel at peace, stable and totally harmonious with my new lyrics, in which love is the letter off. The album in which I fully open up is a variation on the theme of love, present in Marina's life today. Heaven Bound is a bit like a first date to which a, blossom, a blossoming, as you're going to see, Marina invites you. So everybody, let us be seduced. Held a magnifying glass up to our love Burned a hole right through it And in the light of day I see the end of us Guess I always knew it But if 
Drinking warm water before bed restores healthy blood sugar levels and eliminates type 2 in weeks. Thousands of people are regaining control of their blood sugar every night as they sleep. So that's Marina back with Heavenbound. And what we will, what will we will shall who I have to start again. I think I need my morning coffee. But what shall we find that will burn a hole right through the lyrics? That's the question i wanted to say so marina welcome back fantastic fantastic vocals as always great music great team effort and i have to say you will be featured a lot i've been saying this a lot since january because i'm featuring new fresh artists on my channel and you're one of them we just have to keep going with your music your new album throughout the year it begins as it finished in the lyrics just there I held a magnifying glass up to our love, burnt a hole right through it. And in the light of day, I see the end of us. Guess I knew, I always knew it. And she continues, but if the sun don't shine, I can trick my heart. You can still be mine if we stay in the dark. Clever po poetic lyrics are here because you know what the symbolism of a magnifying glass being held up to the light when i was young we used to put a piece of paper and try and get we used to break a bottle and get the bottom part of, of uh, the bottle and turn it around and let the sun hit it and it would pierce and we'd wait for the paper just to have a hole and burn and we were so fascinated by that now people would call that science other people would call that well craziness but in the lyrics the symbolism you can it's like the eyes would be the sunlight and when you look at somebody you, you almost want them to go on fire with the passion that's 
within you you want them to feel that and experience it just a bit like when you put the paper and the magnifying glass and the sun penetrates and eventually the heat the ray of light is so intense it heats up and burns it's symbolic of that and yet when you feel you're not getting that there is that dark cloud over you there is that sense of I'm in the dark here I don't know what to do for the best so that's how it opens up it's like I'm full of love I'm, fu I'm willing to give as much love as you want but take me out of the dark bring me in the and let's burn a hole in our hearts together through how we look at each other. It continues, so shut the door, dim the light, your body's warm and it's cold outside. Take off your clothes, close your eyes. We'll be in hell tomorrow, but we're heaven bound tonight. So there's a moment of inti intimacy, passion. He's been invited in. Look, let's just undress, let's get physical. Let's show physically let me show physically to you how I feel. Because some people confuse the physical aspect of love with what's in the heart and the mind. And sometimes they allow the physical to overrule what's in the head and the heart. Because they're so desperate to show to a person, look, if it takes ripping the clothes off and being as one, like two snakes in the night and intertwining and making love let's do it let me show you how much love i have for you so there's this continuous feel of a bursting love a maturity a woman that's come of her own she's empowered by her own body her own way of thinking and she's more or less saying i offer it to you turn off the light and i'll show you she's taking control so it continues, I wish we could stay inside these walls, wrapped in our lies, clinging to each other. But eventually the truth will come for us, like an, a knife-edged feather. How Shakespearean and poetic is that? You think of Shakespearean times with the feathers and how they used to dip in, in the ink and write. She wants to, more or less, she can't, she wants to almost in a poetic way she's saying I know you know it's finished I know he doesn't want to go any further I know it's at the end for him and I know I have to accept that but before acceptance because you've got realization in the beginning before acceptance it's almost like that cutting-edged knife in your heart like the thought of we're finished it's over I'm leaving it just cuts you and cuts you but like the feather what she wants to write is I love you in a in a in a physical way in a mental way in an emotional way so she's at the emotional stage of three stages to when it's over and that is the realization the delivery of the you know this is my final chance I'll be physical to the point where okay I'm, I'm mentally it's in my head I'm not accepting it I just believe the old memories of the two of us together can be relived and usually it can't because she continues if we could see the signs we would break apart but we still have time if we stay in the dark so this she's it's like a, what, a crest of a wave. She's gone back to being hopeful. I'm empowered. I am a woman now. I know this happens in life. I accept it, but I'll do whatever it takes. I'll think like a man if I have to. But it's not working because the finality has come and she's realized that because she says, so shut the door, dim the light, your body's warm and it's so cold outside. Take off your clothes, close your eyes. We'll be in hell tomorrow, but we're heaven bound tonight. So she believes that if they could have one more night and he just pleases her, there's some way he can realize through her lovemaking that there's a, she really wants me and, and maybe I should think about this. But that's called desperation. And that's where the peak is going down. 
because she's saying heaven, heaven bound, heaven bound. So heaven bound to her is to relive a moment from the past. And that is the first time they were together physically that she can relive and prove to him for her the spark is still there and they'll even though they know that they shouldn't it's her last desperate hope for him to come out of the dark turn on the light and realize god i've been stupid here so she repeats shut the door take off your clothes all of all of that but then she finishes i held a magnifying glass up to our love burnt a hole right through it she's actually come to the conclusion it's never going to happen I've, I've realized it doesn't matter how i look through him and and want him to desire me it'd be like i'll pierce a hole in his heart with my disappointed anger and and look just looking through him you know and i think in the end she's realized I've, I've looked through this situation now. It's like a hole. I can see right through his heart. There's nothing. Emptiness. So it's, it's, a, it's a sad tale. But it's, a sad, it's one of a woman's empowerment to take control of a situation and think like a man, but act like a woman and try and relive. And then in the, re, in the realization, realize, sure, what's the point? There's nothing in his heart. I looked through him. And there's a hole in his heart. And that unfortunately can happen to many people. I hope it's not happening to you. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Maria, Marina Kay. Enjoyed your song. I hope you've enjoyed my reaction. If you have, don't forget to comment, like, join. Because without you, I wouldn't be here. Take care.